Whoa, this is a good one. Oh, g'day everyone. So it's Saturday evening, beer o'clock at the fire pit. Cheers. Uh, yeah, Saturday night, fire pit, but it's dinner time. So as well as the fire, I've got my potbelly stove here cranked up. And what I'm going to do, is going to put my little, that's my small camp oven. Just going to put that on there. And I'm going to cook a fish curry. And in particular, a goat fish curry. So I'm rapidly running out of light, but you can see here these slightly pinkish fillets. Just come out of the freezer, so they're still a bit firm. That is goat fish, also known as red mullet. I've got a few whiting fillets there and some squid as well. And I'm going to make a very, very simple curry. Here's the ingredients. Green curry paste, garlic, coconut milk. Now for veg, very simple. Onion, carrot, potato, and some Asian greens. I think that's choy some. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I think it is. And uh, basically, chop it up, chuck it in, cook it, eat it. But uh, before we do that, let's go and have a look at catching the red mullet or goatfish. What do we got? What have we got? Oh, it's a goatfish. I'll happily take that. It's a good size goatfish too. Happily take that. Ripper. These things are delicious. They're not big. But boy, are they good on the chew. Alright, first things first. Just chop up the veg. Pretty easy cooking in the backyard. I've got the uh, the compost heap, the chook yard, or the worm farm to choose to chuck all the scraps in. Or well, the rabbit gets the uh, ends of the carrots. Rough chop, don't need to be pretty. Chop them up. Nice and hot. Let's get some oil in the pot. And simple as this, chuck them in. Don't worry if they fall off, dogs will get it. chop doesn't need to be perfect I'm only feeding myself it's one of those nights my uh, my two boys are away my mum uh, my mum my wife and my daughter are inside watching Grey's Anatomy so I don't think I need to be part of that so I'm out in the shed so so far, onions, carrots, spuds. Choy some. Chop the ends off, rabbit can have them. Rough chop. Chuck it in, simple as that. Now the beauty of this, even though that's quite a hot fire, this is a very slow cook. So, once it gets bubbling over, I'll put the lid on, leave it, kick back, have a few beers. Anyway, let's go feed the rabbit. G'day Charlie, there you go. Oh, looks like you've already got some dinner. Anyway, there's something for you to nibble on later. Hey cub. Hey, cub. 
way behind. And there's his next door neighbours, the chooks. Good stuff. Anyway, let's go and have a beer at the fire pit. So in the rapidly fading light, before we lose the light, let's prep this fish and squid. And it's uh, exactly the same as the as the veg. We're just going to chop it up. Southern calamari, sand whiting, goatfish or red mullet. All fresh from South Fremantle. Alright, red mullet. Bite sized bits. Same with the whiting. And uh, chucking whiting in the curry seems a bit of a <laughs> bit of a waste, but I got a fair bit in the freezer so it's all good. Coming along just nicely. I'm gonna put some garlic in now. Teaspoon and a bit of garlic, because I like garlic. Probably, let's say, one, two, three, four teaspoons of uh, green curry paste. And uh, of course the coconut milk will go in later with the seafood, or just prior to the seafood. Alright, that's just about perfect. Time to add the seafood and the coconut milk. All right. Coconut milk, in she goes. Seafood, in it goes. Beautiful. I'm not going to stir it too vigorously because I don't want to break the fish up. And I'm just going to go and get a little bit of water from my ultra safe filtered water. Also known as the garden hose. Hello, plenty. Perfect. Alright, we'll let that bubble away for a little while. Enjoy another beer in front of the fire. And then it's dinner time. Alright, so we are done here. The curry is ready. And boy does it look good and smell good by the way there's a bit of red mullet right there still got that pinkish color on the skin anyway let's get that off the heat put it in a bowl and have dinner all right let's see if I can juggle this light and serve my dinner at the same time so in here I've just got a bit of rice that I've pre-cooked in a bit of stock just for a bit of flavor Let's get a bit of this delicious curry in here. Yeah, how good does that look? Anyway, let's go and enjoy dinner. All right, there it is, guys. Goatfish slash red mullet curry. cooked on my old uh, potbelly stove in my shed kicking back at the fire pit to enjoy it now life is pretty good
Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Tight lines. See you next time.